Puffin Young Readers, Level Three. Young Cam Jamson and the Magic Bird Mystery. Chapter One. Let's see some magic. Lots of times, my friend Teddy reached behind my ear and pulled out pennies," said Aunt Molly. "Wow," Cam Chanson said. "That's magic." "Wow, nothing," Molly said. "I told him to pull out dollars." "Here's his store," Eric Shelton said. Here's Teddy's toys. Teddy and I worked together at the airline a long time ago. Molly told Cam and Eric. They all went into Teddy's toys. They walked past a large sign with arrows. It told shoppers where to find things. Teddy once reached behind my ear and pulled out an airplane ticket. Wow, Eric said. Wow, nothing. Molly said again. It was a ticket to Paris. I'd already been there. This is a really big store, Eric said. Where's the magic show? Aunt Molly asked. Cam knows, Eric said. Cam closed her eyes and said. Click. She looked at the picture in her head of the sign with the arrows. To the left are riding toys, video games, and snacks. Cam said, "They have popcorn, ice cream, and drinks." Cam Chanson has an amazing memory. Her memory is like a camera. With pictures of everything she's seen, but where's the magic show? Aunt Molly asked. It's in the party room, Cam said. That's straight ahead, Cam says. Click when she wants to remember something. She says that click is the sound her mental camera makes. Cam's real name is Jennifer, but when people found out about her great memory, they called her the camera. Soon, the camera became just Cam. Let's go to the party room, Aunt Molly said. Let's see some magic. Chapter Two, time for magic. It's time for Teddy," a woman called out. "It's time for magic." "Hurry," Aunt Molly told Cam and Eric. "There are seats in the back." A short, fat man wearing a big top hat and long cape came into the room. "That's Teddy," Aunt Molly whispered. Teddy shook his hands, and feathers fell to the floor. People cheered. Teddy took a bottle off a table. He poured milk from the bottle into a cup. He held the cup upside down, and no milk spilled out. People cheered again. Teddy bowed. He put his hat on the table. Then he reached in and took out a live bird. This is Oscar, Teddy said. Oscar flapped his wings and everyone cheered. Teddy put Oscar in the hat. Teddy waved his hands over the hat. Then he held it up, and Oscar was gone. The hat was empty. Teddy put the hat on his head. He bowed, and everyone cheered. Have fun shopping, 
Teddy said. People left until only Teddy, Molly, Cam, and Eric were in the room. Hey, Molly, Teddy said. I'm glad you came. That was a great show, Eric said. Thank you. Teddy opened a secret flap in the middle of the table and reached in. Hey, Teddy said, where's Oscar? Chapter 3 Oscar is a clever bird. You made him disappear, Aunt Molly said. No, I didn't, Teddy said. He showed Molly a secret flap in his hat. I pushed him through here and into a box hidden in the table. Right after each show, I put him back in this cage with all his toys. Eric reached into the box. Hey, I found a feather! Cam reached in. This box has a lot of doors, she said. And one is open. Teddy saw the small open door at the side of the table. The walls around the party room didn't go all the way to the ceiling. This is terrible, Teddy said. Oscar could be anywhere in the store. He could even have flown out and be lost in the mall. Don't worry, Aunt Molly told her friend. But who will feed him? Teddy asked. Who will talk to him? Who will tell him he's a clever bird? Don't worry, Molly said again. Cam is clever too. She'll find Oscar. Hey, Eric said. What about me? Molly said. Yes, Eric, you're a clever boy. We'll all find Oscar. Chapter 4 Cam said, Click! There were lots of large pipes near the ceiling. Where did those pipes go? Eric asked. Everywhere, Teddy said and waved his arms. They go all over the store. Oscar could be resting on top of a pipe, Cam said. But we can't see up there. Wait, Teddy said. Wait right here. Teddy hurried out of the room. He came back with a small step ladder and a broom. He stepped up and banged on the pipes with a broom. Clang, clang. Oscar, it's your friend, Teddy. Clang, clang. Everyone looked up. They waited, but they didn't see Oscar. Molly said, Maybe he's looking at the video games. Everyone likes video games. Teddy said, Maybe he's with the puppets. They looked in the video game part of the store. They didn't find Oscar. Then they looked in the puppet area. Aunt Molly put a lion puppet on one hand and a rabbit on the other. What's the best thing to put in a pie? The lion puppet asked. Your teeth! The rabbit puppet answered. What's yellow and jumpy? The rabbit asked. A banana with hiccups! The lion answered. Pies, bananas! Cam said, those are snacks. I have an idea. Cam closed her eyes and said, click. Molly told Teddy about the pictures in Cam's head. Wow, Teddy said, that's like magic. Cam opened her eyes. I think I know where to find Oscar. She said, I may have solved this mystery.
Chapter Five: A Game of Memory. Aunt Molly's riddles made me think of food. Cam said. Then you clocked and saw Oscar. Where is he? Teddy asked. Is he scared? Does he miss me? Cam didn't clock. Eric told Teddy. She clicked. And I didn't see Oscar. Cam said. I looked at a picture of the sign with the arrows. One points to snacks. Are you hungry? Molly asked. No, but birds are always hungry. Cam said. Teddy's toys has popcorn. I can even smell it. Birds like popcorn. Oscar might be in the snack area. They all went to the snack area. There he is, Teddy said. There's Oscar. He was eating bits of popcorn that had fallen on the floor. Teddy held out his hand and called, "Come to Teddy." Oscar flew to him. "I was worried about you," Teddy said. He put Oscar in his cage. Then he told Oscar about Cam's great memory. "Come with me," Teddy said to Cam. Eric and Molly. I have a reward to give you for finding my clever bird. They followed Teddy to another part of the store. Teddy gave them each a game. Thank you, Cam, Eric, and Molly said to Teddy. Mine is a memory game, Eric said. I love memory games, but I won't play this with Cam. She'd always win. Clock, Teddy said. No, click, Cam said and laughed. Click, click, Cam, Eric, Molly, and Teddy said. Click, click.